Hello, Les from Thailand here. In today's video I'm going to do a, a comparison as to why I live in Thailand compared to where I used to live in, in England. So I'm going to put some pictures up also of what the comparisons are of where I live here in Thailand compared to where I used to live in Redcar. Redcar was on the northeast coast of England about 60 miles south of Newcastle. Not the best place to live in the world, chemical, industrial area with um, you know, plenty of work in the chemical industry and uh, industrial. We live maybe 30 minutes away from North Yorkshire where there's some beautiful places. Again, Whitby was about an hour ride away from Redcar. Redcar, it was okay, right by the, the coast. Not a bad place to live, but if you take into consideration what I've got to live on here, I've got £1,200 a month to live on. That's roughly 50,000 baht per month is what I live on in Thailand. So what I'm going to do is do some house comparisons and living costs, etc, etc. So I'm going to show some photographs on um, the properties that are available for my budget in, in England. Bearing in mind £1,200 a month isn't a lot to live on. So first, first the picture of this is the type of accommodation that you could get in red car for £300 a month. I pay 12,000 baht a month where I am in Thailand and you'll see the, the difference in accommodation that you can get from the photographs now. This is what I can afford in, in red car and on top of this cost of £300 a month then there's a council tax of roughly about £100 a month or so. So in actual fact, it's, it's almost £400 a month. So that's the third of my income to go and live in this accommodation. No gardens, no nothing. Whereas this photograph, 12,000 baht a month, that's why I pay no council tax, no other taxes. That's it, 12,000 baht. It was roughly £300 a month. And on top of that, my electricity bill here, is less than a thousand baht a month which is roughly 25 pounds a month that's all i pay in in electricity my water charges about um 100 baht which is about two pound fifty three pounds where the water charges in this this property back in red car would be about 40 pounds a month so taking into consideration the difference in housing this photograph here of the house that I've got, 12,000 baht a month. As you can see, it's got some nice gardens. And we have a gardener who comes round here once or twice a month to cut the grass, trim the hedges, and basically keep it tidy. And if we go on holiday anytime, the gardener comes round and waters all the plants and makes sure everything's safe and secure. As you can see, the house that I live in is much, much nicer. You get much more value for your money over here on the same amount of money that you'd pay for rental costs. Also weather. Weather here in Thailand, it's warm all the year round. In comparison to red car, come October time, you're cabined up because it's cold unless you get wrapped up and then you're outside. Then you've got the central heating costs and to keep warm and every time you go in and out. I was never ever being able to afford putting the heating on all the time I was at home. You, have, you used to have to walk around with the jumper on most of the dam to try and save money for your heating costs. Um, it's 10 years or so ago now since I lived in England so even then I was paying up to £200 a month for my gas and electricity charges where here we, our biggest expense is air conditioning. Our house is, is a cool house really, it isn't too bad. Now we're in the middle of summer and the, the cooling costs are a little bit more expensive but like I said my bill has never been over a thousand baht a month and we've been living here now for two and a half years so that's roughly the cost 20 pounds a month to get our bins emptied is included in the in the price of the house of 12,000 baht and internet that's also included in the in the price of the house so 13 uh, 12,000 baht to rent the house and with the electricity, the internet, one thing and another, my total costs of living here are 13,500 baht. I've done another video living on 50,000 baht 
a month. So if you want to have a look at that, that goes through the costs of majority of things that I pay for to live here. But as you can see, the, the accommodation here is much nicer than the accommodation I could get for the same value in, in England. The petrol here for cars, it, at present it's 16 baht per litre, which is about 40 pence a litre compared to, I think it's just over a pound now in, in, um, in England per litre. I don't smoke, so if you're a smoker, the cigarettes over here are about a pound a packet, not nearly 10 pounds a packet as they are now in, in England. My car insurance, uh, over here the insurance works a little bit different to it does in England. The car is insured, not the driver. So therefore, majority of people, if they have a license, can drive the car. And 12,000 baht a year, again, 300 pounds a year, fully comprehensive, and that includes any driver. Uh, so virtually anybody can drive the car, as long as they've got a license. I went back to England for a month and I rented a car from a friend of mine and I paid for extra insurance so I could drive the car legally in England and for that one month it cost me £180 to insure. I inquired if I bought the car because I haven't been driving in England for a long time so I've lost all my no claims bonus now and for the same car to insure it for a year was £1,150 and that was like fully comprehensive for a, a 14 year old car. Crazy, crazy. So insurance costs here are much cheaper than they are in England. Um, the, the sea, the sea, you could swim in it every day. It's just like jumping into warm bath water. Here again is, is a picture of Red Car where I used to live. We are in now April here. So if you look at April, could you swim in the sea at Red Car? No, you couldn't. You'd be freezing cold. Where over here, the, the temperature's warm. Travel here is very, very cheap. We flew to Singapore, and that was about £80 return to Singapore. We flew to Vietnam, again, return cost £80. So, living in Thailand, you're in touch with many, many cheap places to live and, and go and visit. Um, the cost of accommodation here per night in a hotel when we were in Vietnam was about 12, 14 pounds a night. Usually we go to, to Pattaya maybe once every two months and we stay in Pattaya for a couple of nights and the accommodation there is about 15 to 20 pounds a night. So you can go on holiday virtually anywhere in Thailand and find decent cheap accommodation. We always go away every month for a little holiday, for a long weekend or something like that, and never pay more than £20 a night to stay at the accommodation. So the comparison of living over here compared to England, if you wanted to stop in a hotel, say in one of the big cities, London or Manchester, Birmingham, it'd be a minimum 50 or £60 a night as a minimum. So that's the costs of living in here compared to England. This is why I've decided to retire in Thailand and I've travelled the world. I did that for two years, went to many, many different countries and Thailand for me is one of the nicest places to retire to or long holidays to. So if you want any information, please contact me on the email or website in the descriptions below. If you like the channel, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down and leave your comments down below. Please subscribe, watch my other videos. And until the next time, from Les, living the dream in Thailand, bye for now.